that. Well, what's this? That's the art room. I don't need to be in there. Is this where the green goo is? Yeah! Okay. Tools. I still have my scented beads. You guys charm of protection? Question mark? Alright there. She's blessed with holy water. Grant protection to the wearer and all those who take his or her hands. Are they just on? Oh! They're just on! They're just automatically on! That's weird. Something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up? Yeah, sure, why not? What 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 did I get? Crystal of unsealing. Hmm? What seems to be the problem, Yuka? I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, don't tell me you've been holding it in all this time, have you? <laughs> His face. <laughs> just a. <laughs> Vaguely. Just like. I don't know about this. My, my. Well, we'd best find you a place to relieve yourself then, though I seem to recall our options being rather limited. Okay! Permanent records. Door will not open. Great. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to go down to the evil door and try to get in there, which I don't think is a good idea, but you know what? The game's making me do it, so at this point, I can't do much else. You know? So, crystal bun ceiling shattered. Guess we're going in here. The protective charms attached to the, to the door have completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. I'm sure this is gonna be great. Seems useful now. Will you be all right by yourself? Uh -huh. I'll be okay. You're not gonna be okay. Get to it then. I'll be waiting right here for you. Thanks. This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go all bad. It always goes all bad. It's a bathroom! Oh, that's not great. Kizomi? Kizomi, is it really you? Kurosaki. Omae mo. Muji datte no ka? Kurosaki, you're alive! Sight for sore eyes, but finally someone else who isn't dead. Godforsaken place that this is! Okay, hand grabbing. That's normal over there, but... I was at my wit's end just now, let me tell you. Outside of the school, there's nothing but trees, as far as the eye can see. I thought about braving the wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Uh, once you enter, you can never leave. So, what the hell is this place anyway? Damn it all, there are actual honest-to-goodness ghosts in here, you know? I think we may be stuck here for good. There's no way out for any of us. Did you see Mitsuki in the next room? She's dead. Ah, Mita. Yeah, I saw. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number. 
A certain number of dead bodies a person's expected to see within his lifetime. And I swear in the last hour alone, I think I far surpassed my quota. Ah. Uh. Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on her with three other women. She's been really down about it all morning. Yeah! I mean, I understand that! I would be down too. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. She seemed mad about it during study hall, but then she sent me a thank you message the very next period. I think I was actually able to lift her spirits a little. A little. Ugh. Now though, she's gone. Killed by actual spirits. I guess it was those children. Okay! Okay! That was rather abrupt. Okay! Okay, this is Sparta! Uh, Alright then! Bye! Within these walls? Doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Okay. Either way. Hey, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now she's alive, maybe. Yeah, I have no idea where you ended up. What the? What happened? Where am I? Was I knocked out? Yuka, Yuka, Dogoda. Yuka, Yuka, are you there? Nope. Okay. The remains of a female student are sprawled out on the ground here. Her student ID name tag is still pinned to her breast pocket. Misato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School, Class Two Four, Gain Hagiwara. Fantastic. This is probably gonna be more victims' memoirs. So. Heavenly Post Elementary School Closure Day to 11, I mean, 1975, 11, 18. Great, great, great. Photograph of Principal Takamine Yanagahori. Great. Great. Strange but true. Stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. It really exists by Ko Kibiki. Give it a look. The hell. Over the course of several days, a series of incidents occurred within this town in which young children disappeared one after another. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through a thorough and police investigation, but said findings were a very much worse, a worse case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heavenly Host Elementary, officially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quaking in fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from demise when police arrived. <laughs> Capping off this nightmarish scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloodied scissors. 1973, 918. 
The surviving elementary school student, after psychological counseling, gave official testimony fingering the scissor man, scissor man, as abductor and murderer. The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as desecration of the dead. He was quickly taken to trial, where an insanity plea spared him from prison or death, but resulted in his compulsory admittance to a mental hospital. Interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school's principal's own son, who was widely renowned for his jovial personality. However, due to a mental ailment of unknown origin, he'd begun losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavenly Host. Once his speech was all but gone, he began searching for alternate places of employment which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of this endeavor were not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Several months after his admittance to the mental hospital, he managed to slip past the many nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary, where he took his own life by hanging. The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students. But the one girl who was rescued from the gaping maw of eternal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture, far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sadly, this was the only the beginning of the misfortune that would hereafter plague the school, which had already earned itself many an unsettling rumor. Over the next few years, Heavenly Host would become stage for countless incidences of rape, molestation, and suicide. With each, with uh, the, sorry, with student registration and attendance dwindling at an alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down, 1975-1118. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with un incomprehensible scrawls. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his haphazardly scribbled enumerations. And the day after the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from its roof. He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of the school is indeed awful, but there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actual tangible curse upon this property. And the key to it all lies with the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and mutilations of three children no older than she. The girl in the red dress. The one that got away. My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. I've begun gathering data for a follow-up report, so stay tuned. The next issue promises to uncover the uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. <laughs> According to this article, one girl survived the murders, but if this photograph is accurate... Then it's that same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Why would someone who wasn't killed here be haunting the school? Good question. Heavenly Host Bulletin, an individual unaffiliated with the school broke into the building last night and killed himself. This is the third such incident. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring prefecture. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. Haphazardly crammed and bursting with crumpled up documents, newspaper clippings, and scrap paper. School scandals continue. Principal question on liability. A cursed school? The mini grizzly happening is a heavenly host. School nurse reported missing. That's not great. There's a plaque inside the case commemorating the school's establishment. It's covered in bloody handprints as if someone were frantically caressing it. Okay. Inventory of incoming students. Ujima Elementary, 21 boys. Hinomoto Elementary, 10 girls. Caring Village, Montessori, 13 boys. Osho... West Elementary, 18 girls. Amora Gardens Academy, 6 girls. Brother Red Pretty sure I checked. 
Oh fuck, I didn't mean to hit that! Oh well, whatever, it's fine. Looks like I'll be dying soon, so I'm going to try to keep my finger steady just this one last time. The bleeding never stopped, and I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here. And unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Tsuharu, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpassed me in every way. Always one step ahead, no matter what we were doing. I kept telling myself that at some point, I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. If I should dream in death, though, then I know I'm going to see you when I turn this next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. We can beat up, up on each other just like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. Oh god, my head! Ah! A wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. His movements weren't his own, it was as if his mind were disconnected from his body with no perception of surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarred his, sen his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses with no direction or control. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse, by the wave of negativity that permeated the space far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig skipping across the ground in a windstorm. Ah! Ah! Great. For that warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtually lobotomized state. It seems the remnants of a man's tormented soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message and the curse it carried certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once a boy named Satoshi. Game over! Chapter 3! Wrong end! 3 out of 4! Woohoo! I died! Alright! So! <laughs> that was my bad! <laughs> 